Do you have any ideas of yeah. how we came to this point of how we're just one off single bangers instead of telling a story? So what you might notice if you look from a bigger distance at the EDM scene these days, it's basically people want to achieve success as quickly as possible. So making a concept album that people really have to spend a lot of time on to listen and to get into is definitely more difficult and way more taxing in every way. I mean, time-wise, you know, stress, tedious bits of fixing here and there, mixing, mastering, compared to making just a hit single with a funny cow sound right before the drop, that will make you huge. People just prefer to make singles because they know that those get way more exposure and way more success quickly. In the in the dubstep spectrum, it gets, uh, it kind of turns from singles to EPs rather. And that's a lot of what bass music is about today. And I noticed that making, making an EP is it's obviously a little bit of an effort, but it's something between making an album and a single. But those four tracks on each EP are usually also set to be just singles by themselves. If they're released, they wouldn't be released separately from an EP, but each one of them is definitely a banger. And I've never noticed an EP that has tracks connect apart from maybe last EP by Protostar. And I can't, off the top of my head, I can't remember someone else doing it on a, on a short EP, like a three, four track EP, because those, if you connect tracks physically with a specific sound or a pad or some sort of drone in the background, you kind of want that connection to keep going for, you know, six, eight, ten tracks or, or more. So just connecting it for like a short little experience of 12 to 15 minutes is not really worth doing that. So I think people just come to that conclusion that, OK, I'm just going to put these three or four or five tracks together just because I think those are the good tracks that I selected out of the 15 or 20 tracks that I made. And I'm just going to put them on this EP. I'm going to call it this and don't necessarily have any of these tracks to do it with each other. And yeah, just, uh, you know, go on with your day. So I have a feeling that people just want to grab a quick buck as quick as possible and definitely singles and short little spurts of releases are, are the way to do it i think you hit on so many points that i want to touch on and I'm, I'm gathering my thoughts about this so to add on to what you were saying when it comes to that when they create the eps right and you're right the songs inside of it don't really tie together very much other than genre specific songs and you're right it's, it helps them kind of get more exposure more quickly they want to get famous more like faster and stuff like that but the problem with that is the problem with doing that strategy is that when you do that strategy it's like pouring gasoline on a fire yeah you're gonna see this huge flame up and coming but it's gonna die out quickly the way that you're doing it is much more sustainable it's much more fulfilling much more hefty much more weighty in context <laughs> 